Hello, good evening. It's Fainway Jenkel here with the travel guide number 675. Well, here we are in Holland, the Netherlands. Actually, just outside Amsterdam, about 10 kilometers from Amsterdam, is the beautiful village of Oudekerk. Oudekerk. What it means is a mystery to everybody, but I know because I've been studying Wikipedia and a few other interesting pages on the internet. It actually comes from the old Star Trek days, when Captain Kirk actually materialized here, on this part of the Grand here, this part of the grass. He landed here about 400 years ago, one of his time travel mistakes. And because he was out of it, so to speak, they called him Audi Kirk. And that's where it's remained, Audi Kirk. And here, of course, Audi Kirk on two rivers the Bullewijk and the Amstel. Some of you probably know Amstel beer. Well, that's not my problem, that's yours. What in fact characterizes Oudekerk? Oudekerk is almost country-like. It's like a little village that has a, a sense of harmony, a sense of peace, relaxation, probably because so many gangsters live here. But on the other hand, it could also be because of the quietness of the streets. Not like Amsterdam's busy thoroughfares with tourists rolling up and down, drunken from the spread light district. No, no, no. It's just harmony, peace, and touching nature. So here in Oudekerk, here we are beside some of the glacial parts of the country of Netherlands, which sometimes, as you can see, we're losing the glaciers rapidly here. But over here on the left, beside me, is the oldest and the biggest Jewish cemetery in the Netherlands. It's actually from Portuguese Jews who came here 400 years ago, escaping from the terrors of Spain. And they're all lying over here in these great slabs of stone. You could say it's the dead center of the city, I suppose. Anyway, walking this way, we come to a very nice farm. from little farmhouses to 17th century farms to modern residences. We can see even here in the gardens there are chickens and hens, doves, all waiting to enjoy themselves before, they, before they're slaughtered for the Christmas dinner. So here we are behind the Willem Church. Now this is a wonderful old church which was built many years ago, before, before Christmas at least. And as we look down here we see the waterways of Holland where the Bulwijk and the Amstel come together, so to speak, or divide, depending which way you look at it. But as you can see, here we have... Would you mind being quiet, thank you? I'm talking. Thank you so much. Yes. We don't have the cruise ships today because it's a Tuesday. Cruise ships don't come out to the Amstel on a Tuesday because the Americans can't afford it. And here we have two local people from Oudekerk. Yes. Do you live in Oudekerk? Yes. And so these are Oudekerkers, or one is an Oudekerker. And um, why do you live in Oudekerk? Why? Because, uh, <laughs> it's very beautiful. I, 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 uh, it's very beautiful. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, one thing she definitely said. And how would you say that in Netherlands? It's heel erg mooi. Heel erg mooi. Very good. And any other reason apart from the beauty? Oude Kerk Plus. The Oude Kerk Plus. Very nice uh, water. <laughs> and ah, the, beach. the plus on the other side yes. of Oude Kerk. Ah, yes. We're going to go there tomorrow and we're going to dive into the Oude Kerk Plus. Thank you so much. Here we have a beautiful waterway which will lead on to the bridge. And we're going to go round the corner now just to have a look at that bridge. Oudekerk even has its own museum. Now, that's pretty amazing. How many villages do you know that have a museum? You see, Oudekerk is rich in every aspect of potential tourism. So, to the bridge.
And an old tradition here in Oudekerk, of course, is the famous tree hug. These trees are designed in the church lands to be able to provide for everyone who comes and hugs them some beautiful spiritual meaning. And it does feel good, I can tell you. Oh, I love you. Thank you so much. So, onto the bridge. So here we are on the Bullvike Bridge. This is the River Bullvike. And as you can see, it stretches through Oudekerk in a very romantic, meandering fashion. And on the other side, where we were just now, on the other side of the church, which is over there, then you find where the cruise ships go. And here, of course, a very famous old bar, the Oude Smidsey, which was the blacksmith originally, who used to put change the shoes for all the horses that were dragging the barges up and down this part of Netherlands. Oudekerk and the Amstel. A very good alternative to Amsterdam. Fainway Jenkel signing off. Till next time, good night and goodbye.